Yeah. Now, Chrissy, you had like a uh, like a model agency, something like that. Well, it's not an agency. It's a, a development company. Um, it's called Le Jeu Entertainment, which means the game in French, which is one of my favorite cities in the world. Um, and it's kind of like, you know, I, I provide a lot of different things, acting classes, modeling, coaching, mentoring services, because when I first came to, to New York from Baltimore, you know, let, let me rewind a little bit. I graduated. One of the only decent things my mother did do for me as a child was put me through modeling school, which I did complete, I think, when I was 11 or 12. Um, and then that kind of gave me the itch to get into the industry. But it taught me a lot of good things as far as the, f the foundation of how the business works. Not just, oh, I'm going to be in that magazine, boom. It's a business. And you got to learn how to deal with people when you go on auditions, go sees and stuff. There's a proper protocol. And a lot of these girls are now just getting on Instagram thinking, oh, I'm a model. No, honey, it takes a lot more than that. Um, you know, you got to conduct yourself in a professional fashion, you know, there's there's budgets, there's time, there's money involved um, when you walk into these these um, these these businesses and you're promoting their product. You can't sit there and act ratchet and oh, you know, it's all about me and stuff. So a lot of the the, the clients that I work with, the young ladies and young men, you know, I, I kind of teach them the etiquette involved in the industry, which is something you know they have artist development at record labels and stuff like that for a lot of musicians. So I thought I'd bring that facet of the game into my business to help to help them get to where they need to be on the more business side of things. You you remember the time in the music industry where you had, you know, kind of, you know, real video vixen stars like Melissa Ford, yes. where she could she could command ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Gloria Velez, yeah, a music video, you know. But of course, that was a time when you had. Hundred thousand dollar music Budgets. videos. You yes. know, you had waterfalls and you know Busta Rhymes, Janet Jackson video with that cost like half a million and so forth. But but these days, that just doesn't exist anymore. Nah, Vlad, yeah. that's the sorry yeah. truth. And a lot of these girls are doing a lot of dirty stuff to get into videos. It's just it's the whole game has been flipped upside down. And you know, and I, that's another thing I talked to a lot of the young ladies about that. You know, don't lower yourself to be in a video. It's not that serious, ma. Respect yourself. You know what I'm saying? it's not even worth it. I was once one of these girls, you know, I remember once I was in Atlanta, maybe 10 years ago, and they had casted me for a major artist, I'm not going to say the name, video, and the casting director, you know, had wardrobe call us the night before everything. I think it was a paltry three or five hundred dollars that me and my girlfriend were supposed to get paid. But since I, he called me, and since I wouldn't go to his hotel the night before to hang out, oh, we decided to go in another direction. We're not going to use y'all. Mm. But that's just how it goes. I had that happen with, yes, with so many. people offering me, you know, bring me to this label in front of this person. But damn right. I needed to come with them first, you know, the night before. And yeah. Are you not I, I never did that. I was casted for Cadillac Records with Beyonce. A really good um, uh, scene with most deaf. Wardrobe, once again, called. They were going to have a car service at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. And since I didn't want to come spend the night at the guy right. that hooked me up with the gig, it's, oh, I'm sorry. We're going to use somebody else. Same story. It happens every day. And it's sad. It's pathetic because it really makes girls discouraged and give up their dreams. If I would have gave up on that so many times, I wouldn't be on Love & Hip Hop now. Like, I would be like, oh, the whole industry is shady. And it's not. I didn't have to do anything grimy to get on Love & Hip Hop. So, you know, there are right. decent people in the industry. So if you guys were to estimate what percentage of model gigs comes from sexual favors, what would you say? Well, let's just say it happens more often than not. 